dear friends, I am back. <laughs> yeah, though not fully recovered. I think you can hear the way I talk. Yeah, but I will be fine. Don't worry, guys. The fact that I am here talking to you means that things are going really good in the right direction, health-wise. Those who don't know, guys, I've been sick. I had COVID. Yeah. <sighs> It is what it is. So I want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much. Those of you who have been checking on me on WhatsApp, on Instagram, those who reacted to my community post, oh my God, you wrote sweet, sweet messages, you know, all the prayers and everything. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. I was very happy to read your comments to see how much you guys care for me. Yeah, so without wasting much of your time, let us talk about our today's video. Our today's video, guys, is going to be a story time. Actually, it is a continuation of Rachel's love story. Yeah, part two. <laughs> Those who did not watch Rachel's love story part one, it was about a Ugandan lady, single mother of one, who found a very rich, rich guy on the dating site. But in her part one love story, we talked about her love journey and we are here to continue. So go watch it and then come back here to watch part two. But for those who watched Rachel's love story part one, now let's continue with part two. Let's continue from where we stopped. So dear friends, in part one, we ended whereby Rachel had to call her mother cause things were really, really bad, reached an extent of wanting to take her life, but remembered her a child and that's when had to run to her mother and tell her the truth that I have a child, I've been abandoned here, I am stuck, I want to come back home, but I don't have any money with me, even food, we don't have any thing. So her mother sent her the money, they bought food that day, ate and then traveled back home to Uganda. Her mom went to the bus station to pick them, then took them home. Arriving home, gave them food, tried to get to know Rachel's child, the grandson, though, you know, he was crying, didn't know the grandmother, yeah, she turned on the heater for the baby and showed Rachel that I am here for you. I am your mother, no matter what happened. Rachel was so happy that her mom didn't react in a bad way and start telling her, why did you do this and disappointed me? No, she did not say that because Rachel was like, if she fumed, I was going to run away from home to where I don't know. So dear friends, Rachel was very happy to be back home finally after all she went through in kenya so yeah that day they spent time together with her mom then the day ended the next day had to sit down with her mother and narrate everything into details of what happened to her in kenya of how ron abandoned her and the child after talking to her mother, her mother was like, I need Ron's phone numbers. I have to call him. So Rachel had to give her mother Ron's phone numbers. And she called him. When she called him, had to put some sense into him. <laughs> yeah. And another thing you guys need to know is that Rachel's mother works in human rights organization. Yeah. So she has got her own connections and was going to make sure Ron pays told him if you don't pay i'm going to involve the police i'm going to do all it takes to pay for all that you did to my daughter and my grandson after talking to ron he got really really scared and from that day started paying for the child support till today as we speak without being reminded like it's the end of the month you need to pay no Ron pays. Though he has not made any efforts to go meet his son or be like calling, maybe I want to talk to my son, nothing like that. Recently, 
Rachel told me he reached out to her mother and wanted to see his son's photos. And that's it. Yeah. So for those who are asking, oh, how comes a guy who wanted a child then abandons the child like that? Yeah. Some guys can be really cruel. And if you sit down wanting to understand how they reason, <laughs> you won't even understand at all, at all. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I also think he did all this to punish her for refusing to get married to him. Imagine a guy who gets you fired just because you say we can't continue the relationship and you're pregnant for him. Hmm. It clearly showed from the start wasn't even interested in that child at all at all. Yes, he seemed like he wanted a child, but his nature was too strong for him. Yeah, <laughs> bad, bad nature. His cruel nature, his selfish nature, his I don't care nature was really too strong for him. That is why he did all that to Rachel. But we thank God her mother was in a position to make him pay. So Rachel continued to stay at her mother's place her mom taking care of her and the grandson also tells us her mom really protected her from everyone never told her closed friends never told even her family about what happened to rachel rachel having a child coming back home not at all something that really helped rachel very very much remember this lady refused to go back home, you know, from Kenya to Uganda because was very scared of people's judgment, how they're going to judge her having a child before marriage, being a single mother. So her mom really understood her very, very well because mentally wasn't doing okay at all, at all. Tells us it took her a while, you know, to recover, to be herself again. Oh life kept on going rachel getting used you know to the environment and even her child getting used tells us you know they could eat three times a day which was just a dream while they were in kenya so all was going well rachel started you know gaining a bit of weight glowing you know <laughs> getting back on her feet so tells us in January 2023, when she had healed and mentally was in a good place, kept on looking for a job, also dedicated her time to watch my videos. Tells us, or was telling me, Bella, this time around, I was like, I'm not going to be watching only one video and run, be like, Ah, I know everything, no need to keep watching her videos. <laughs> no, I sat down and watched all your videos starting with the old ones the lectures <laughs> those videos whereby i was giving tips and tricks about online dating how to date a white guy also could watch every love story that i could upload yeah she had to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i could upload a new video could be there to watch it full and could take notes because I was like, I don't want to make mistakes anymore. I don't want to find myself in the hands of the wrong man. And this is what I have been advising you that even if you are my baby, you have to go and watch those videos because we talk, yes, but I can't give you all that information that I shared in those videos. It is good to watch them. Once you watch those videos, trust me, no man will play games on you. So yeah, Rachel was like, Bella, I did not want to rush and start looking for love. No, I had to sit, watch all your videos. And I also remember you mentioning about F dating. I tried to join it, but I failed. So one time I was on Google, then F dating popped up. When it popped up, I clicked on it and that day I was able to join F dating. Meanwhile, I had taken cute, cute pictures. You know, I was glowing, looking so beautiful. So yeah, I had really cute, cute pictures. I had to upload them on F dating and in 30 minutes of joining F dating, I got 150 messages from men 
oh my god it was so overwhelming i started clicking on those messages but most messages i could find like hi sexy and whenever i could find a message like hi sexy i could just block hi gorgeous <laughs> oh my god you look so pretty <laughs> i could block all of those so after getting so many messages i tried to reply some and i was like i'm kind of tired let me first relax then i'll come back <laughs> online so before she logged out came in a message of a guy from america so she clicked on that message accidentally and it opened when she opened that message, oh my god, it was a long, 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 long message of this guy introducing himself to Rachel. What she did, went on his profile to first see his photos. Like I have told you guys, you first need to go through his profile to see if you guys are a match before replying to his message. <laughs> so she was really following all the tips and tricks. So going to his profile, finds out that this guy never had pictures, number one. Number two, he had a long, long, long bio <laughs> talking about himself. So after going through his bio, I was like, okay, let me go back to his message. Went back again to his message, had to go through all that intro. Oh my God, the guy was telling her almost everything about his life and she was like, this guy maybe he is a scammer or is trying to impress me who gives a total stranger all this personal information she was like ah. anyways i am going to ignore him so she ignored that message but something kept on telling her please respond please respond to him and here richie says maybe it was god of dorothy talking to me <laughs> Because Rachel watched Dorothy's love story. Guys, if you remember, there is an online dating success love story of a Ugandan lady by the name of Dorothy who found a very rich, rich, rich guy from Germany. I don't know if you all remember that love story. So when Rachel watched Dorothy's love story, was like, God of Dorothy, please remember me. Test me too. You know, jokingly, <laughs> she said that. So when the voice was telling her respond, she was like, maybe it was God of Dorothy. <laughs> talking to me to respond to this guy's message so she decided to respond to him and also here adds that later did she know god had something in store for her <laughs> so yeah responded to him you know described herself and immediately after responding to him he replied <laughs> was like okay can we please talk on WhatsApp? Because I want to leave this dating site. If we go to WhatsApp and we don't connect, you can block me. And she talked to herself, was like, it's true. You know, there is a block option. So I will block him if we really don't connect. And that's when they exchanged their WhatsApp numbers. So guys, we end where they exchanged their WhatsApp numbers. But to take you a little bit back, because I told you Rachel was looking for a job, eventually in February 2023, found a job with Eagle Air as an air dispatcher. Yeah. So the exchange WhatsApp numbers, Rachel prepares herself because was going to dispatch the flights at night. Yeah, she had a night shift. So goes to work and after her night shift, it ended at 3 a.m., had to go back home. Arriving home, found a message on her WhatsApp from Timothy, the American guy. Was like, he just flew in from San Diego because he had a house, a beachfront house in San Diego where he goes for leisure. But he lives in Houston, Texas. He has got an engineering company in texas also has got a car dealing company and lots lots of other businesses rachel was like i wasn't all that interested you know <laughs> in money i wanted a man who will just accept me 
and my son so yeah he could tell me all those and at first i used to think he is just bragging you know <laughs> those rich guys who always brag i have this i have that that's it and sometimes you find they're not even rich <laughs> like they claim so did not take it seriously but timothy kept on telling rachel about himself and giving lots lots of personal information to rachel so rachel was like hmm, maybe this guy is serious because someone who is not serious won't open up that much so all was going really really good between them and tells us oh my god they connected super super fast rachel did not find herself you know in a situation whereby she doesn't know even how to keep it going like maybe go to google and type how to keep a conversation going questions to ask a guy nothing <laughs> once we're just flowing <laughs> she was like bella in uganda we say things were going bulunji <laughs> yeah smoothly very very good and when they talked like about their hobbies oh my god they had same same hobbies she likes to read he liked to read too she likes to cook he liked to cook too even could tell her i can't wait to cook very delicious meals for you oh my god rachel was so happy and was like bella i am at peace yeah this guy gives me peace total peace so guys i remember when rachel you know came to tell me this story it was during summertime you know and i had just had a vacation <laughs> so she really made me laugh when she was like bella i couldn't wait for you to finish the vacation because i'm so addicted to your videos <laughs> so you being on vacation no videos i was like when will these vacations end we really miss her <laughs> yeah anyway aside from that how's your vacation going let me tell you during the time you are off but during the time you are off <laughs> Like I would keep on checking, has she uploaded a new video? Has she uploaded a new video uploaded? I just sent him, I just sent him. So I'm like, has she uploaded? Has she done this and this? Like, is she back? Is she back? Is she back? Like, I just felt like coming to just pull you out from wherever you are. Madam, you shouldn't be taking, is it? <laughs> you shouldn't be taking any vacations. Eh? Well, you know, you gotta, so, you, I am so addicted. I am so addicted. Like, I keep on checking. And I'm like, why? Why does she only, why would you only post one? once in a week once in a week yeah or even twice sometimes you post the tuesday and sunday yeah like twice or so but rarely so i'm like can't you at least do this like three times a week <laughs> oh my god yes yeah, so i just felt like coming to pull you out from wherever you are and this vacation this summer thing has really affected us <laughs> <laughs> so when she was telling me this love story was really excited very very happy and couldn't stop thanking god and me for helping her you know find that good good guy a guy who loves her very very much so she talked to me about asking him very very important questions and he could respond very very well even asked him where do you see yourself in the next five years and he responded that in the next five years i see myself very far career wise but also i see myself and you together living either in america or europe because this guy his origin was from poland but was living in america had an american citizenship yeah he has established himself in america though is from poland that is why he told rachel i see myself either living in america or in europe somewhere in europe yeah with you i know some of you are wondering or want to know his age he was 47 years old never married and no kids so rachel continues telling me her love story how it is going then was like bella he has also taken things to the next level has introduced me to his sister 
and his uncle. Me too on my side, I have introduced him to my mother and my brother. So all is really good. This guy is so loving. This guy praises me every day. This guy tells me how I am intelligent. Oh my God, Rachel was over the moon. He could also call Rachel every single day. They had very, very tight schedules, but this guy could call on a video call every day to talk to Rachel and also sing for Rachel's child, read a book for him. Rachel's child was still small, one year old, so... <laughs> couldn't talk but he could read books for him to put him to sleep you know when you are dating a guy and you get that feeling of protection you get that feeling like yes i have someone in my life a man figure a father figure to my son that's how rachel could feel because i was like bella we are living very very far away from each other but the way we talk the way he treats me the way i feel it's like we live together because he updates me on every move that he takes sometimes if there is a decision to make maybe in his projects he talks to me to ask for my own idea and always says i am very very intelligent when he talks he talks us not i no us 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 includes her in the future did i say when a guy includes you in his future while talking is a good sign yes i did so this guy was including rachel and rachel's son in his future future of them together us together not i i i so rachel's book says we're ticking tick 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 <laughs> of the things she was looking for in a man then rachel tells me bella yes he is a rich guy but i've never asked him for money at all at all i'm not interested in his money <laughs> and i've told him that i am not interested in his money so with what happened with rachel in the past those who watched her part one love story you'll be like is it true this guy was rich <laughs> yes she confirmed the guy was rich because even his vacational house in san diego the beachfront mansion <laughs> he showed it to rachel took rachel around that mansion also showed rachel his house in texas his engineering company the workers everything all around the office even that car dealing company took rachel around on a video call she saw everything with her own eyes the guy was loaded <laughs> yeah but rachel never asked for money at all at all so dear friends they kept on talking building their relationship talking of the future and even talk to Rachel was like, if you don't want to live in any of my houses, maybe you want to live elsewhere, we can still build our dream home and we're going to design it to your test. Oh my God, Rachel was like, the feeling was out of this world. She was so, so happy and couldn't stop thanking God every single day for bringing Timothy into her life another thing that timothy told rachel is that because he worked so so many years he is retired he has saved enough money for himself and the future wife doesn't need to work anymore yes he has got those projects those businesses but he is totally fine so guys at the time i was talking to rachel when she was giving that love story they had dated for one month and their next plan was for timothy to go to uganda end of june 2023 to do the introduction and get married to her but also said if he doesn't make it end of june he is going to squeeze his busy schedule and go to uganda for one week or two in july for them to meet do the introduction and get married 
So guys, in their plans to get married, Rachel included me, was like, Bella, due to what you have done to me, you know, my love journey and everything, I found this guy because of you. I am your product. So I would like to invite you to my wedding. I'm going to pay for everything, your traveling costs to Uganda so that you can witness. I will feel so, so happy for you to be there. Guys, I was so excited. And you who have been following me here, you can remember this. I even mentioned it in one of my videos that, that I've been invited to Uganda <laughs> for the wedding. And most of you are like, oh my God, Bella, tell us where. We want to come and meet you. <laughs> for us who are in Uganda, we would like to meet you. And I responded to you guys, when it happens, I will let you know. I also saw some comment some time back, someone asking Bella, how about the wedding that you were to attend? <laughs> Guys, do you still remember that? Yeah, so that was Rachel. Really, she invited me and I'm going to put that voice note here so that even you can get to hear it. So I was so happy and I really thanked her for the invitation. I was really looking forward to attend her wedding in Uganda. And I wanted to say thank you to you. And yeah, I will definitely keep you posted on everything, everything, Bella. The other thing is, since you were the reason, like part, aside from God, you're the reason why this has happened to me, Bella. Um, I wanted to whatever, like I just, I wanted to let you know that I would really love for you to be part of every milestone, like the when it comes to marriage, like the, the introduction and all the introduction, my marriage. I would really love for you to be there to witness your very own product, like going through all these milestones. I will pay for every expense that needs to be covered for, provided you are there. Yeah, I'll just keep you posted, my dear. I'll keep you posted on everything, everything, yeah. So, he'll be here next month. Next month, yeah. The second week, the second and third week of July, yeah, he'll be here. Then, yeah, we have checked out a few places in Kololo. Um, I had opted for whatever the apart we we didn't want a hotel we just wanted like a normal feel like a home feel kind of thing where we'll get to do everything together cook blah 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 and all that so we've checked out a few places then Kololo he will be here in July like he'll do the uh, whatever the payment and everything the whatever it's the bookings and all that yeah. Uh, we are doing right by the grace of God. I have never been so happy, Bella. And guys, before I forget, I always get this question when I hear a lady found a very rich guy on the dating sites. So I always ask myself this question and I know you too. You're asking yourself same, same question. Yes, Timothy is a rich, rich guy in America. But why would a rich guy go to the dating sites to search for love? Yeah, so Rachel responded to me that I did not ask her, but she told me about it. I was like, you know what, Bella? Timothy told me decided to join online dating sites because of the bad experience he got dating ladies. All the ladies that he dated were all gold diggers. <laughs> So because he was tired of the gold diggers, that is why he went to the dating site to find, you know, an African lady and yeah, found me. <laughs> so guys, I know this story is kind of particular, not flowing like, you know, how it always flows, but let me hope you guys understand. <laughs> we are together on the same page, yeah, but as I continue, you will understand very, very well. So watch to the end, please, please. <laughs> so 
like I said, I got this story around summertime when she approached me on Instagram and was like, Bella, I want to share my love story with you. Not for you to put it out there because we haven't met yet, but when we meet, for sure, we will make a video call and talk to you, then put the story out there. But for now, I just want to share with you. Because for sure, Rachel was very happy of what she was experiencing, you know, experiencing love, a guy who loves you, a guy who accepts you. So yes, I listened to all of her voice notes from the part one that I've shared already. Now we are in part two. And she shared with me her success love story. So after listening to everything that she sent me about her success love story, you guys, I always have some questions to ask a lady. I am your coach. I am your mentor. So me listening to your story, I just don't listen and get excited, then get carried away. No, I try to play the detective to see if something is off. Because remember, we don't need to ignore any red flag even if it is something small we have to raise it up <laughs> and work on it so i had some questions to ask her and i asked her then she shares with me the screenshots of their charts after the screenshots followed pictures of timothy so i sit down and start looking at his pictures but with me something was not adding up yeah something wasn't adding up well yes i wanted to get deep into things to see if my intuition is right or maybe this time around it is wrong <laughs> yeah because his pictures guys something that i noticed and had to put me like this guy was wearing a cap on his head in all the photos the second he had glasses on they were not sunglasses not at all but he had glasses on and those two things guys they change someone completely if someone doesn't want to be recognized easily they do that he will wear a cap he will put sunglasses and become a totally different person you too who is on the dating sites dating apps searching for love when you come across such kind of photos that guy is hiding something from you so if you see a cap ask for a photo without a cap on without a hat on without glasses on you need to see that photo then you go to a video call so the photos for me gave me some sort of a red flag and you who has been listening to this i think you heard how rachel talked so good about this guy how she was so convinced about this guy how she was so excited about this guy so i remember telling rachel you know after hearing all she went through i was really really protective acting like a protective sister i did not want this lady to go through what she went through in the past with losers so i told her from everything that i have listened to i don't see lots of red flags but i would like to know yes this guy is coming end of june or july did he give you a debt because I've been advising you guys, if a guy tells you, I am coming to see you, <laughs> or I am going to invite you, he should tell you the date, the month, and the year when he is coming. Not just saying, I'll come in December, December when. Because what I know with white guys, they plan ahead of time. So if he is traveling December, he knows exactly which week of December he will be traveling he can't just say i'm coming in december so i wanted to know the date when timothy is going to uganda she was like ah bella he has not given me the date yet but we will talk and for sure i will give you the date when he will be coming to uganda but rachel was like bella don't worry about the date we will talk with timothy then i will update you concerning the date for sure so just be at peace i was like okay no problem 
So guys, when we chatted that day, yes, we could chat, but she was always on the run telling me, Bella, I am busy. You know, I haven't settled down. When I settle down, I'll write to you so that we get to talk. I'm like, fine, don't worry, no problem. So I keep on with my busy life and she keeps on with her busy life. Then June comes to an end. Then comes July, quiet. Then when it was around 20th of July, was like, Bella, I know <laughs> you want an update from me. But I've been super, super busy and Timothy too is so, so busy. His schedule is very, very tight. Even this July that he wanted to come, he cannot make it because it's been super hot. There is so much heat in houston that even the workers did not come to work so he is alone working on those projects so no time at all at all but he is planning to come before 10th of september 2023 guys when i heard that hey <laughs> my antennas became like this <laughs> that alert mode i always tell you I started staying on the alert mode. Why is that? Guys, I'm someone who reasons. You just can't tell me something and I believe it. I think of it again and again and again. If I'm to do the research, I'll do the research until I see things clearly. So with what Timothy was saying, that it's too hot, that the workers did not go to work, did not sit well, into my mind like someone not going to work because it's too hot the heat is too much <laughs> they can't work on the strong sun oh <laughs> for me i was like no <laughs> this is not true this is not true at all at all and i did not hide it from rachel guys i told rachel girl we need to have a serious talk as a sister, I need to talk to you. The Rachel was like, no, it hasn't reached to that Bella. <laughs> it hasn't reached to have a serious talk. You with your serious talks. She even laughed about it, guys. <laughs> and I know she is here laughing too, being angry at herself. <laughs> yeah, she completely refused. To sit down and talk to me because i had wanted to sit down and tell her girl be careful i think this guy is just prolonging your relationship she told me no bella you don't need to worry it hasn't reached to that stage be rest assured everything is under control everything is fine we keep on talking every day nothing has changed at all at all just be patient with us <laughs> I was like, okay, no problem. What could I have done? If you were Bella, what could you have done? My hands were tied, guys. <laughs> yeah. So yes, guys, life keeps on moving, you know, and we could chat, yes, at least not every day, but in a week, maybe three to four times, she could check on me, maybe watch my videos. There is something to laugh about. She could come and be like, oh my God, Bella, you know, make comments about the video she watched. So time kept on going and cause I had seen how she could protect Timothy. You know, it kind of made me not to be so much stressing her about this whole thing because if she is okay then why should i be so worried <laughs> we could talk other things yes once in a while i could ask and september came so when september came i asked her she was like yes bella i know <laughs> you need an update but i don't have good news for you timothy has postponed again the meeting he won't be coming in september but he said he will make sure he will be here by December. That's when I was like, girl, no, I see red flags here. This guy, I'm worried. He is only wasting your time. This guy is prolonging the relationship. She was like, no, Bella, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Just be patient. That is all I'm asking from you. And if you would know what Timothy is up to, you would 
thank me you know so let's keep on waiting <laughs> yeah let's be patient don't worry to be honest she was fine not worried at all though i'm you know raising my hand please see my hand <laughs> something is off not at all she kept on defending him saying everything is fine so from there i was like there is no need to push so much let me wait you know <laughs> so i kept on waiting but i was sure that december timothy won't go to uganda yeah hi dear i'm sorry oh my god i did not talk to you i've been busy running here and there yeah so <laughs> i i don't know i don't know yes i heard everything you told me and trust me i've got nothing against him trust me nothing personal but um it gives me kind of doubts you know uh, cancelling the trip three times it doesn't sit well to me somehow but if you're sure in december he will come then uh, it's okay because you know for me i can just judge from outside you're the one who is leaving the relationship every day yeah all i can do is pray for you uh, so that you guys get to meet um but also the the, the explanation about uh about uh, about when it was hot yes it was hot summer was really really hot this year um i don't get it like someone not going to work just because of the hotness <laughs> oh my god it sounds so strange to me how can someone just stay at home and not going to work because it's hot because when they, they 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 apply for these jobs they already know like the how can i say the risks or like what is all about the job you know things like these are not the surprises it can happen um but anyways i don't want to judge a lot because i don't know this guy's company i don't know how he operates i don't know how big it is you know so i cannot really judge so much I told you I, I got nothing against this guy okay nothing against and if he's a good guy he's a he, he is the one oh my god i'll be very very happy you know for you and i would like him because if you're happy i'm happy too um so what is worrying me is he cancelled the trip three times yes understand his work is very important but at the same time you guys see each other should also be a priority uh so <clears throat> if he cancelled because of his work December is coming. December is very busy for people with companies, I'm telling you. So it might be like, okay, December, I'm very busy. I am closing up things, you know, closing the year. Too much work, I cannot come. And again, you're there waiting, you know. So it should reach a point where he should also like uh put you in his in his plans you know put you in his plans if it happens again in december to be honest i won't i won't even uh, be supporting this relationship at all i won't because uh that would be like no a no 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 for me i know you want to be understanding but at the same time keep shining your eyes really 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 keep shining your eyes um watch the red flags whatever thing you see don't just close your eyes and be like no he's sweet he's a soft guy he's this 
Oh, some guys take that as an advantage. They take advantage of you being like that and be like, okay, I'm gonna play all my games on her. Yeah. So that is a little I wanted to know. And then we take it from there. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm shining my eyes, my dear. <laughs> oh, God, this just gets me every time. Yeah, but um, I do agree with you. Yes, I do really agree with you. If the same thing happens in December, then yes, it would be an issue. But um, for now, you know, you normally say when, um, like, most of the videos, I know there's there are some videos I've watched where um, you normally say when you know the one, like when you, uh, sorry, when you meet the one, like when you meet that person, like if he is truly the one, yeah, there's a way you get to tell, like there's a way you can tell, yeah. So I'm not being overconfident or anything, but then, um, I'm pretty sure, like deep down, okay, I don't want to be like, you know, over overconfident because we haven't met yet or anything, but um, the months, the few months that we've gotten, we've gotten to talk and know each other, um, it's, I, okay, I don't know, but just, you know, within me, yeah, there's just that thing that the peace of mind yeah that thing that um makes me feel that yes he truly is the one i'm not saying this basing on the uh sorry, on the basis of um his finances like his financial um situation right now like not, not not basing on the fact that um you know i'm not looking at the money or anything but i'm just you know his personality um the way we click what um yeah the hobbies like the things we love to do like we just have a lot in common and um the way like he's just generally mature yeah he's really mature um in terms of um, reasoning, emotional control, um, like general, like patience, there's a lot, yeah, a lot about him, Bella, like a lot, yeah. Um, people are not perfect, yeah, nobody's perfect, but then for me, he's the, like generally just the perfection that I have been praying for, yeah. So I don't want to sound overconfident right now, but um, for the few months that we've gotten to know each other, yeah, and um, the way I know him since I'm normally the one, you know, doing that, like you said, yeah, I'm the one like controlling, like steering the wheel and all that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not a bad person. He is not a bad person, but I'm pretty sure. And the one thing that I'm 100% sure about, something that you might begin to, you know, think, you know, something that might have crossed your mind that maybe he's married, he, he has someone, blah, 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 and all that. I'm pretty sure he's, you no, know, he's, he doesn't have anybody like he's unmarried or anything. Yeah, about the marriage, yeah, he's unmarried or like the wife or like a family because he doesn't hide anything from me, yeah? So, but um, there's that peace within Bella, that peace, my dear, that makes me really hope and um, stick to the belief that um, he is really the one, yeah. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, you, you always tell us, I'm telling you, my dear, I picked up a lot, yeah, a lot from you, I picked up a lot. and. I'm so grateful that you still, you know, like the thoughtfulness, the worry and all that. Yeah, it's not because you're, you're, you're judgmental or anything, but it's because, you you, you know, you, you care. Yeah, like you just, I really appreciate that side of you. It's rare to find, yeah. I'm so thankful for that. 
but um, within me, I can assure you, like, just, you know, I'm pretty sure he's not a bad person. And um, I think, I don't know, but I th we can just rule out the bit of him being a scammer or like a married guy or, you know, because generally, yeah, with the the way things have been going and all that, I'm pretty sure it's none of the two. Yeah. So guys, yes, we kept in touch. If you remember the first, first voice notes that I shared here of her saying, we are best friends, it's true. We became friends, eventually became best friends because we could talk very frequently. We got into each other's lives. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time she even gave me a tour around her house and even outside how it's like everything guys <laughs> i could see her son she could see sophie yeah so it turned out like that though the timothy topic it was like kind a delicate topic <laughs> to go to so i had to respect her decision let's wait let's wait <laughs> so i just wanted to hear from her not me pushing her a lot so november comes and you guys know that november 18th is my birthday yeah on my birthday she sends me a very sweet 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 message oh my god i even cried i was really really happy to read her sweet message wishing me a happy birthday so november towards the end of november i had to ask her like girl what's happening what are the plans is timothy coming december that is when she was like bella you know what i talked to timothy and timothy was like is not sure if he will make it in december <laughs> that is when i told her girl now let me tell you the truth all the time i've been telling you let's talk let's talk let's talk is because i saw red flags from the start so i wanted to point out these red flags so that you can open your eyes you can get to see that this guy is only wasting your time and has wasted your time she was like bella bella you don't know how we are so connected i can't even believe it that he is playing games on me he is only prolonging a relationship but guys that have been watching my videos you know the signs of a guy that is prolonging the relationship i even did a video here and i told you if you see this sign from a guy no matter how many sweet words he is telling you don't fall for it this guy will never meet you in person he considers you as just his online girlfriend it will remain there and some of these guys are married they have wives but they want to have that feeling of owning more than one lady and maybe the wife is very jealousy or is very controlling maybe he's boring in his marriage he can't just go and date someone physically. It will cause trouble <laughs> in his marriage. So the better way to do it, they go to the dating sites. That is where he'll find a lady and date that lady. When the lady raises up questions, when are we meeting? He will keep telling you, I will come, I will come, but will never come. When you look at your relationship with this guy that is prolonging the relationship, he will never ask you for nude photos, never. He will never disrespect you because even Timothy never asked nude photos from Rachel. So with Rachel, that was a tick. <laughs> he did not ask me for nude photos. <laughs> Does he talk of our future plans? Yes. But where are the actions? A guy can tell you all the words, all the sweet words in this world, but we need to fall in love with his actions. We need to believe in this guy after seeing the actions. But with Timothy, there were no actions at all, at all of these people to meet eventually in person so yeah i told her and she was like oh my god bella don't remind me <laughs> when i was telling her girl we need to talk <laughs> so she was like bella don't remind me because it really makes me feel very very bad it makes me feel so stupid 
why I didn't see all this coming, why I did not listen to you, why I did not have that talk <laughs> with you. And I told her, don't blame yourself. It is what it is. It has happened. But right now, concentrate on you. Don't keep on believing the words this guy tells you. It's time to put your foot on the ground. And guys, if you remember, this guy said he has the money, he is retired, he doesn't need to work. How comes then he has got a busy schedule? He cannot come. Someone that rich, he should have people to do things for him <laughs> and for him to travel, go meet the girlfriend. I even told her, if the problem is him coming, let him invite you to America. She was like, Bella, you know, my schedule is also very tight. I can't travel, but I know she was just defending him. This guy wasn't even ready to invite her to America. And another thing is, you remember when she was narrating the story was like, Bella, he gives me peace. I feel at peace. There was peace. Yes. She could feel at peace. Yes. Cause did not raise lots, lots of questions to this guy. Because if she had put her foot on the ground from the beginning, wanting to know the date and everything, I'm sure that relationship could have ended long time ago. But because she was saying yes, 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 trying to be an understanding girlfriend, that is why there was peace. That is why Timothy's character did not come out. So if you are on the dating sites, you come across a guy, all is going well. He's telling you things. Maybe you're a Bella baby. You come to Bella. Bella tells you, ask this. Don't feel scared to ask because you want the peace to continue. Ask that question. It will help you not to waste your time. It will help you to see the seriousness in that guy. He will not leave you. He will clear the air out. <laughs> clear all your doubts out that my love okay you want to know when i'm coming i'm coming this date and i've also booked for this hotel you know show you the evidence of everything so that you can be at peace put your foot on the ground stop being that understanding girlfriend please please so after rachel talking to me that is when she started putting her foot on the ground and wanted this guy to open up and tell the truth if he's really coming or oh, he won't come and when she did that he started saying he's very busy or oh, he cannot talk he doesn't know when he will be coming and what happened next timothy ghosted rachel yeah he ghosted her completely and that's when rachel's castle fell down because yes was talking to me still had hopes that maybe this is just a bad dream maybe i just had a nightmare everything is gonna be fine because with her timothy was her future husband she was very very attached to timothy and on the other hand yes i always tell you don't attach yourself to these guys but i understand her when you talk with a guy every single day he tells you sweet words and all that you find yourself attaching yourself little by little and if you haven't listened to me telling you don't attach yourself then you will be attached very, very much. So she was missing him so much, missing his voice, missing his calls. You know, they even had nicknames that they could call each other. So she could sit down and think all that and cry and cry and cry. I could chat with her, you know, sometimes make her laugh and she could, you know, sound bubbly. But after some time could write to me and be like, Bella, I'm pretending to be fine but i'm very heartbroken i'm super super sad i even told her to move on i told her go back to the dating sites she even asked me which sites can i go to i recommended to her the sites to go i told her i'm here for you <laughs> 
yeah she started searching and whenever she could see a success story or something i post maybe on my instagram someone says i found the one bella my guy has done this my guy has done that my guy is coming she could be like god when me when so richard nixon was like bella i think mentally i'm not okay i'll stop for a while watching your videos and i was okay guys i told her if they make you feel sad yes of course you can take a break i can't force you to watch something that will make you feel sad i was totally fine guys and i've been telling you too that if you follow someone and you feel like they're giving you sadness in your heart better and follow even if it is me don't get scared <laughs> yeah you unfollow for the peace of your mind which is very very important guys so she kept on you know searching for love but at the same time came and told me bella no i'm going to delete all dating apps i can't take it anymore i don't have the energy and i don't know if i'll ever love a guy like i loved timothy and you know guys how i am very stubborn with dating apps i always tell you you will find the one don't let the losers make you lose hope so that is what i told rachel please don't lose hope don't make the losers take away your dreams because you want to find a guy who will love you and your child, you know, live that happily ever after. So why should you let just a player like Timothy to make you give up? So she could be encouraged by the same time, be like, no, Bella, I have decided right now, I'm focusing only on me, only on my life, my child, that's it. And because I told you, we are friends. And even if we're not friends, I'm someone who is very, very respectful. I respect people's choices. <laughs> yeah, I can advise and advise and advise, but I reach an extent, I stop. I can't push no more. So that the respect we have for each other to remain there. I keep believing on what I believe and you keep believing on what you believe. So yeah, November ends, then December comes, Christmas. We kept in touch, kept on talking. And then around January... <laughs> Rachel comes back to me and is like, Bella, I know you're going to be super angry at me. Oh my God, I don't know how to tell you this, but I have to. I'm like, go ahead, tell me what's happening. <laughs> and she's like, Timothy is back in my life. Yeah, he came to me, he explained that his uncle was very very sick so he was taking care of his uncle that is why he needed time for himself so we talked and i kind of understood him bella you know we have that strong connection that i can't even say no to him <laughs> if you are bella what can you do <laughs> oh my god i was like what she was like, yeah, Bella, I want to give him a second chance. I was like, it's fine, you know, it's your life and <laughs> I will just support you. What can I do? But deep inside my heart, I was like, no, this guy. <laughs> so when he returned, unfortunately, Rachel's kid got very, very sick. And because he had come back, hey, this guy started sending money to Rachel. Huge. When I tell you huge amount of money, it's huge, huge amount of money. Because when the baby was sick, he even took a private room in that hospital with the nurse, <laughs> a private nurse. <laughs> oh my God, being taken care of. So he could send 5 million, 7 million, these 2 millions, they were just nothing to Timothy. Yeah, so he took a very good care of her. He was there for her, even moved her you know, from where she was living to another exclusive place. <laughs> when she told me, I was like, what? It's good. It's good that he came back. It's good that he is there for you. It's good that, you know, <laughs> he is spoiling you. I am happy for you, girl. She was happy and in her head told me, Bella, for me, I was like, this guy is really serious this guy 
will eventually marry me. Who will waste such kind of a money knowing he is not serious? So she was convinced that this time he came to stay. It's them forever till they grow old together. <laughs> My dear, it's not your eyes. Sorry, I have to whisper. You know, uh, get sensitive. Yeah? So any noise can just wake him up. So <laughs> it's not your eyes. Oh, money. Like he has been sending like huge, huge amounts, like 2,000, like 3,000. <laughs> I think, you know, because um, he had sent me money for the house rent, like um, for the deposit, like um, he sent like about two two weeks ago so you know he was sending in bits 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 because here in uganda um remedy you can't exceed like per day you can only send about um 2500 you can't exceed that no 3500 mania yeah so he kept on sending every day two five two five two five two five and now again this week just yesterday at around 3 a.m. Okay, the moment I told him he was sick, he immediately sent me money. He told me to go what? To to take him to the hospital. So when I took it's not like it's not like I didn't have money or anything. Yeah. I did. I did. I told him I have some money to what? To take him to the hospital. And even um the house weren't deposit that he sent was a lot of money so like i could obviously get some money from it to take him to the hospital so it's like no he what um i've sent you just take him to the hospital take him to a good hospital and then um he let me know what happens um he sent me about two million two million Ugandan shillings and here I go that is for the what what is it? consultation <laughs> consultation fee I looked, I'm like, is this guy crazy? Consultation fee doesn't exceed. If it's a very, very big, expensive private hospital, it doesn't exceed 150,000 Ugandan shillings. He sent me 2 million. So I went to the hospital, everything in general, check up the admission, medication, everything, because I paid at once. I didn't want to wait until, hey, what? No, I paid at once. So it took everything in total, took 650,000. So that was a balance. After, uh, like the like that very evening at around 3 a.m. in the morning, boom! I receive an <laughs> I receive another alert. This time he did not send. He did not send. Um, is it two million or what? He sent six million Ugandan shillings, six point something. So I asked him, I'm like, are you crazy? What is all this money for? He's like, no, just use it on who? Make sure it's the best medication. Yeah, I use it to buy things, to take care of him at the hospital, blah, 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 get him a private room. Yeah, we got a private room. We got a private doctor. Yeah, so they were working with Well, we got two private doctors, a pediatrician and then um, a general doctor. So we enter the hospital. <laughs> These nurses are looking and then they're talking. I don't even know why they're what they're gossiping about. Yeah, so they're gossiping and everything. Maybe because we got a private room, because because we got a private doctor. I don't know, but anyway. Yeah. So at 3 a.m. in the night, he sent that money, the six point something, and again um, at around 5 a.m. in the morning, he sent again more money. I've even lost count generally. <laughs> I have lost count so um so i think because you know there's this suspicion here when you get a lot of money like especially from out they they may think you know it's funding for terrorism so after him sending the last time he sent a huge amount of money I, i've even forgotten but he sent a huge amount so when he wanted to add on more money <laughs> more money remotely started cancelling the transfers it started cancelling um like they weren't allowing him to send more money send more money yeah so he told me ah, the bank is what his bank um his bank was like they called and they were worried that um you know he had never made any transfer to africa so they called and then they wanted to be sure that it wasn't you know like you know to 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 tell him to be aware of scammers and everything 
Yeah, so he was I told him to stop to stop sending me money for now. I, it's a lot of money, but a lot. This money can buy me a supermarket. <laughs> a supermarket and everything. So I'm not going to misuse the money. I'm going to invest. I'm going to use it to invest somewhere and, and then just to tell me. Just to tell me it's going to be okay. He would tell me, no, you don't have to cry. You blah, blah, blah. He was there, like, emotionally. He has really been there. I am just so grateful. So, 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 so grateful. And <laughs> yesterday, my mom was like, are you sure you met this guy online? Hmm? Confirm again what he does for a living. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, but um, he has been there, so him generally giving me that emotional support, yeah, just brought us really, really close, really, really close, yeah. Thank you so much for being happy for me, yeah? Thank you so much, it just takes a, a kind heart. Yeah? So right now, I just want to move, like, in silence, I haven't even announced, like, I haven't told my brothers or anyone else that we're back together, you know. I told you to talk to my brothers, to, you know. It's only my mom who knows right now that we're back together because she was asking, she, she was asking, where are you getting all that money from? And where, because of the private room, because of the private what, what, yeah. So she's like, why? Like, she was just wondering, yeah. So I told her to and I are back together and she's like it's okay so right now I just want to move in silence and yeah I just I'll just keep praying that um, everything goes well yeah and then yeah, hopefully by December yeah December <laughs> I will send you a ticket not even a ticket tickets yeah I'll send you tickets for you guys to come and just um testify with us yeah yes <laughs> yes yeah, so I'm just praying so hard that everything goes well like right now it's just it's it's just different it's like we've just you know like you know like newlyweds that kind of love that you have yeah so that's the kind of love like okay even after the misunderstanding like the ghosting and everything it has just grown stronger yeah i'm happy by that i'm happy it's just that right now i'm tired <laughs> I'm just tired. I have a lot to, you know, handle right now. So guys, I told you he returned in January 2024 and yeah, kept on spoiling her, sending her lots, lots of money. Then February tells her he'll be launching his new office in Dubai and would like Rachel, the kid and the nanny to join him in Dubai. Then from Dubai, they will come all together to Uganda, do the introduction and then get married so um about who so he opened up um he's um launching his a branch of his company in dubai so i don't know is it dubai Qatar? <laughs> you know my head has been mixed up of recent yeah so yeah it's dubai because um so he suggested um we go we go there on the it's yeah on the 25th of april we go be in dubai from the 25th of april to the 30th and then um we all come back here together because um he he really needs to be there that's why um yeah so he was just suggesting that we go we go um see everything that i go see everything and also be there on the launch and then um he'll what he'll get um whatever he'll get a visa as well he'll reapply for a visa to come here direct and yeah so he wants us to go and then just spend some time together over there and then come here yeah so that's the 25th to the 30th of april yeah so he told me to work like to just let him know my final decision so that um, he can just coordinate the visa thing application process online like it would be easier for him to you know get his secretary to do it direct and uh, something related to that yeah 
Oh, okay. You're moving in now. Okay, it's good. It's good. That's really good. Um, <laughs> hey, I see things are moving good now. <laughs> better, better, better. Because I was about to ask you, okay, now, the guy is spoiling you. <laughs> Where is the concrete plan? Because for me, I want serious things, you know. Yeah, not all about being spoiled. I want you guys to meet, huh? <laughs> yeah, so this is good news to me. <laughs> ah, you, 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 my dear sister, you and your words. So you just, <laughs> you make me laugh all the time. <laughs> ah, so, yes. <laughs> yeah, we are working on the concrete beats here. Eh? started laying the foundation already so we're just mixing cement yeah, and sand <laughs> to start the construction <laughs> ah bella dear yeah so yeah that's pretty much it and um i don't know i, I just don't know i don't know i'm not even excited excited or like not happy no it's not like i'm not happy or anything it's just like Ah, uh, you know, it, it's less exciting uh, since I got so, so used to the disappointments of last year, like him postponing, postponing. So, yeah, I'm not actually moved. So when she told me about that, I was like, wow, that is good plan. I'm so happy for you, you know, and all that. But she was like, Bella, I'm no longer excited like the way I used to be. Because I'm so used to the disappointments. I'm so used to him breaking my heart. So this time around, yes, I know we are traveling. But yeah, <laughs> just like that, I told her, okay, but at least there is a plan of you guys meeting eventually. Then passes like two weeks, Timothy comes back and tells Rachel, oh my God, something bad really happened when I was at the gym. So to his look at the gym was um, whatever it was robbed, yeah? and um, one part of the things that were taken was um, his wallet. Yeah, so I don't know what what is actually wrong with him, but um, he actually carries his passport, his passport card, and his um, like generally documents. He carries them in his wallet. So things were stolen. Yeah. So um uh his what? So his wallet was stolen. It has the passport, it has the I don't know resident permit, it has the what, it has like documents in it. Yeah, so um he was really, really down on Friday. I, I talked to him. I'm like, it's okay. It's going to be okay. So what's the way forward? Blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, he was, uh, it was okay. It was just a long, long conversation anyway. So, but, um, yesterday on Monday, sorry, Monday, we were able to, um, because he used his ID and um, his driver's license to um, he used it at his doctor's you know he has a he has issues with um, sinuses yeah he's supposed to get an operation so he used them and thankfully the doctors had um, copies and um, Monday we waited he called early in the morning and thankfully yeah they had the ID copy and then the driver's license so he picked them and um he has ordered for a new license he has, um, he has ordered for what he has whatever started the process of re uh, working on the id and then he also applied for what to get a new passport <laughs> he applied to get a new passport um uh he applied on tuesday on tuesday no he applied on monday as well and then um he had the appointment on tuesday so they told him it's going to take a minimum of 90 days those are three months yeah minimum so february march april april will make the third month so if the passport comes out by april then i asked him if they don't do express or something over there 
Uh, he wasn't even sure anything, but um, yeah, so that's what they say. Yeah, so in, uh, about April, um, ah, gosh. See, I told you I don't want to get excited. Um, it wasn't the first time, like, you know, it's not like the first time he's been like, we're meeting, blah, 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 and then, you know, something happens, something changes. So, thankfully, this time around, I wasn't, like, over the moon or, like, excited or anything. I'm like, I'll just go with the flow. And, uh, you see, my village people, <laughs> the village people at work. So, he tells her, I've applied for my driver's license. I need also to apply for my pass. Then she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Tells herself, village people are at work. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> poor village people. <laughs> We even give them the fault that is not theirs at all at all. <laughs> like in this case, <laughs> the village people are not to be blamed at all at all. <laughs> but she was like, ah, village people are at work. Oh my God. Why is that every time we need to meet, then something happens? <laughs> she was really down, told me, Bella, you see, that is why I was not all that excited. And I told her, your intuition was right but for me i laughed about this whole story <laughs> timothy was giving her <laughs> this whole story of losing his wallet because they broke his lock <laughs> i laughed and i was like oh my god timothy his stories <laughs> she said yeah that's how things are but to be honest i was really tired eh? i was really really tired of this guy but i kept on giving her advice telling her no this guy is wasting your time so it reached an extent she was also very very tired and i think embarrassed at the same time because you have someone who is guiding you who has been guiding you go this route but you chose the wrong route to believe the wrong guy so in her heart felt like i have disappointed bella felt really really bad to an extent decided to keep quiet for a while i did not hear from her at all at all so guys normally i'm so good at reading people's mind i'm so good at reading someone's psychology yeah so when she kept quiet i was like okay i think i need to give her this pace and i could see it was really a lot on her to handle so when she kept quiet because she told me later what happened <laughs> yeah so when she kept quiet actually it's not that she stopped watching my videos yeah so <laughs> for me i was just like She's not even watching my videos due to all that she's been through. But when she talked to me again, it was like, no, Bella, I kept on watching your videos and I had to put my foot on the ground with Timothy and tell him, you know what? I need to know when are we meeting? I'm tired of you wasting my time. And when she could ask that, Timothy could disappear. So it was like Rachel chasing after Timothy, being the one to call him, being the one to message him. Let's make a video call. And he could be like, I'm so busy. I don't have time. So one time came across a video saying that if a guy is giving you a certain energy, give him same, same energy. And it really meant a lot to her. It made sense. She was like, oh yes, it's time to give Timothy the same, same energy that he is giving me. If he's not writing, I'm going to stop writing to him and see. I have advised you this always, go with the flow. If he's giving you this flow, go with it if you're chatting with a guy stop using your heart use this go with the flow if he's not writing you wrote some messages and he was supposed to respond he did not respond no need to keep on writing keep quiet on him too let's see what he will do let's see his efforts if he's interested he will reach out so she gave him same same energy and he disappeared completely till now as i'm talking to you so yes guys rachel kept on watching my videos she really opened her eyes at that time and was like no i'm not going back to timothy and once you open your eyes even the way you act towards things towards situation 
it changes completely because if it was the old Rachel, she could have kept on waiting on Timothy. She could have been like, no, I don't want to insist a lot. I don't want to seem desperate. You are not going to be seen desperate. <laughs> not at all. You deserve answers. Those are normal things. Meeting. We have been chatting. You have been telling me you love me. You want to marry me. We're going to build our dream house. We live in Europe. We live in America. Then I'm asking, tell me the date when we are meeting, then you say I'm desperate. Hell no. <laughs> How am I desperate? So yeah, Rachel came back to me and was like, oh my God, Bella, you were right all along about this guy. I shared with you that message, but I'm going to put it here again so that you can see it. Yeah, she was talking about Timothy because with me, guys, even if we're friends or what, I will tell you things as they are straight. I won't hide it, be like, oh, I'm going to make her sad or what. If the guy isn't the one, I'll tell you the guy is not the one. <laughs> yeah, and I'm never wrong. Never wrong, guys. So yeah, after ending it with Timothy and because we're still watching my videos, then I uploaded a video on how to use a certain dating app. Yeah. <laughs> So when I uploaded that video, she watched that video. After watching that video, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. Bella has been telling us not to give up, not to mind them losers. So why should I keep on minding Timothy? <laughs> Let me keep on chasing my dream. So decided to join that dating site, had to set her profile and started searching. If you are on the dating sites, dating apps, searching for love, you come across a guy, a guy has been spoiling you, a guy has never asked you for nude pictures, a guy has introduced you to his family, that's not all. At all, at all. That is why I've been telling you, follow online dating rules because you have to make sure everything is in order. The problem or the mistake that you guys make is when you see all these things in a guy, but some things are missing, but you decide to close your eyes and believe that you have found the one. Get excited. Oh my God, this guy is going to marry me. Whereby you haven't met yet. Some of you, you chat online with these guys. You haven't even made a video call, but you have created already castles in the air or you chat with a guy some things seems okay but some things are not okay and because you feel like you have faced lots of challenges you want to treat this guy like an egg he shouldn't be asked anything that will make him run because you're so tired of guys running away from you you end up taking wrong guys don't ignore any red flag if i ever said something is a red flag then do not ignore that you chat with a guy you have to see him on a video call you chat with a guy he has to introduce you to his family no matter how much money he is sending to you you should make sure you meet so it shouldn't be just few things that are okay then the guy is the one everything should be okay i repeat dear beautiful ladies so rachel read your comments of the first video and she was like there is someone also who was asking how comes <laughs> she didn't have a job but was staying in a house of 40k kenyan shillings per month rachel was like when she was in a relationship with ron she used to stay in a house whereby they could pay a hundred and eighty thousand kenyan shillings per month in runda estate we should also remember used to work with proactive tells us they could pay her very very well so because they had a joint account she had an access to it at the time they were together so sometimes she could withdraw more money and keep aside yeah so that is why when they broke up she still had some money aside that allowed her to pay forty thousand kenyan shillings per month as a rent and also pay all that money 290,000 
Kenyan shillings at the hospital. She even shared with us some of the receipts she paid at the hospital when she went to deliver her baby. Guys, another thing is I will never bring a fake story to you. All stories that I share here are real, real stories. But I would like you guys to focus more on the message that you get in the story to help you on your search. Because some people even share their love story, but they don't want to share their photos. They don't want to be seen. And with me, what's important is the message. So let's focus more on that. Trust in Bella. Bella will never bring a fake story. For what? <laughs> For what reason, guys? So yeah, she gave an explanation. I'll put it here so that you guys can see that. So guys, because I've told you I am still recovering, I don't want to push a lot, let us end it here for today. Next time, yes, I know, I promised you this was going to be the last part, but things happen here. So next week it will be the last part because I'll be telling you the story on how she met the current rich, rich guy. The one, yeah. <laughs> I have listened to this story very, very careful. I've seen the proof. So all is fine. <laughs> we don't have another rich guy like Timothy <laughs> to waste our sister's time. Not at all. This time it is real. And I can tell you guys, Rachel is blessed. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Till now, I really appreciate much for your love and your support. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. <laughs> Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family, please. And thank you so much for subscribing. Until next time, guys. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.